welcome to Small Talks, where we have small talks about a big God. I'm Crystal Walker. Let's talk. Recently, a friend called me over to her house to taste test a number of desserts she was preparing for a gathering with friends. How could I say no to that job, right? She wanted to make sure every dessert was just right. So I tasted everything and offered my opinion. I'm sure you've done something similar when cooking or baking. I've been told that while cooking, it's good for you to taste your food as you cook to ensure everything is on track to taste delicious. Tell me if this has ever happened to you. You taste whatever you're cooking and you say something like, hmm, something is missing. Maybe you need more salt or onion powder, or maybe you forgot to add sugar or accidentally left out a key ingredient. Well, today I want us to assess our lives, kind of like as if we were taste testing our own lives. I want us to see if we are missing a key ingredient. The ingredient I want us to check for today is gratitude. Is gratitude an active ingredient in your life? This is an easy ingredient to leave out. How many times have we gotten consumed with the gift of life and have forgotten to lift our voices to say thank you? Or how many times have we taken people or our blessings for granted and neglected to show gratitude? See, when gratitude is missing in our lives, that's when entitlement shows up. Are we deceiving ourselves to think we deserve all the good things we have in life? It's only when we come to God knowing we don't deserve good health, shelter, protection, a decent family, a job with benefits, eyesight, activity of our limbs, loyal friends, a faithful spouse, a fridge with food, filled pantries, money left over after paying bills, and options in our closet. When we realize we don't deserve any of those things, then and only then we can have a heart filled with gratitude. Now, why is gratitude important? See, gratitude is a key ingredient in worship. Psalms 100 verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. You cannot worship God without having a posture of gratitude. Do you want to get into the presence of God? Do you want to enter his gates? Well, bring thanksgiving with you and couple that with praise. And that's when true worship can happen and you'll be sure to experience God. Gratitude is also a key ingredient in prayer. Philippians 4, 6 says, Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Do you leave out this ingredient when asking God for things? Is your prayer life filled with thanksgiving? Before you ask God for more, try thanking God for what you already have. And really, gratitude is a key ingredient to life. Not only does scripture affirm this, but psychology and science even agrees that gratitude is good for a person. I read an article that said neuroscience has shown that gratitude literally rewires the brain to be happier. A study conducted by a team of psychologists showed that gratitude can improve your sleep quality and reduce feelings of anxiety and depression. They also found that levels of gratitude help people have better moods and less fatigue and inflammation. Huh, there are many blessings and gratitude. God knows all of this already, and that's why he tells us in the Bible to give thanks for everything and give thanks in everything. Ephesians 5.20 says, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So what can you give thanks to God for today? Is it your family? Is it your job? Is it just protection, salvation, a peace of mind? Find something to give God thanks for. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, in everything give thanks for this is God's will for you. Christ Jesus. This scripture is referring to circumstances that you may find yourself in. Some translations of the scripture says, give thanks in all circumstances. There are no exceptions to this rule. Every circumstance, whether it's good or bad, we ought to give thanks. And we are giving thanks to God in every situation, not because the situation is necessarily good, but because God is good. 
and his word says it would work out for good. The scripture says that giving thanks to God and everything is God's will for you. So if you're ever wondering what God's purpose and will is in a particular situation, it will always be for you to give thanks. As we present our lives to God, is God saying, huh, something is missing. How can we choose to practice gratitude for everything and in everything? Let's pray. God, we invite the Holy Spirit to show us when and how we let entitlement rule our lives. Each and every day, may we choose to live a life full with gratitude. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening to Small Talk's devotional podcast. We will resume with new devotionals in January of 2020. Continue to listen as we will replay past devotionals during our break. As always, please like, share, comment, and leave a review so that we can reach more people. Have a happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, and a happy New Year. Talk to you next time as we have small talks about a big God.